beautiful clear water. We're going to head down and catch some fish. Just walking over here, um, saw some mayflies. Big long tails on these little mayflies. Something else here. In just down below this little spill here. See if I can't hook up on anything on a dry fly down here. Boy, this is beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful water. See if I can't spot anything from up here. I don't see any risers to speak of. There's fish right here. Right there. <coughs> I'm just kinda hovering. <coughs> oh, a couple of them. There's some there's some motion. Okay. A couple of submerged rocks right here. You'll see some. You'll see a couple of fish in there. They're sub subsurface kind of feeding, but definitely would take something like a zebra. I think I'll try a drive to see if they're looking up, but I don't know if you can see them on the video. It's real subtle. The lens on this camera is almost. It, it acts like it's polarized, so it really does kind of cut glare. See if we can see anything in there. I, I did see, so there's at least two of them in there. Okay, well that's good. That's good news. We're gonna walk in. Come down a ways. There's a nice in. I'm always going to be looking for um, fish. I know where I want to go, but uh, I'm always going to be looking for fish, you know, like in here that might I might have missed. I don't see anything real active through here. Just take it real slow. But those fish that we spotted were just, they're right up here. Notice my shadow. Uh, you want to make sure that the shadow does not uh, spook fish. So I've already got a dry fly on. I'm going to float a dry fly through that area so we can't get a surface take. Just be real soft with that. Nobody looking really. Oh, fish came up right there. It's the one I was looking at up from the top. Let's put it right here. We're going to catch that bugger, whether it's on the dry fly or not. We're going to Probably catch him on a merge on a merger if he doesn't come up for this. 
It's one thing about this kind of fishing is it's very, very visual. Okay, so we know they're not going to take a this dry for right now. I'm going to put on that secret weapon that's our uh, zebra midge. And since this is a barbless hook, it doesn't work well in the vest patch, so I've got to put it back in its case here. Go to the other side pocket. I got this little red stripe on my nymph box. And we're gonna go to the flashback tungsten bead zebra. I can never remember if this is a size 18 or a 20. It's smallish. I'm going to do this with a pinch on indicator. And I don't want to go too deep, just just about two feet because these fish are feeding just, just under the surface, or at least that one is. My pulse pinch on indicator, the package is pretty worn. Guys, a couple of you have asked me if I why I don't go with colored indicators, and I just I don't know. Other than I think white is real natural. I don't think it spooks fish, and I can see white just fine. So reminds me of bubbles. All right, let's go for this one that we spotted up on top. He should take this. Right there, right there. Oh, he looked at it. This is going to get me into some vegetables. Maybe not. Oh, too far to the right. My vat cast, and I just got some wind. That might have spooked that fish. Darn it. May have spooked them. No, nope, there's still some movement. I got lucky. Oh, got a bad breeze. There we go. That's the cast I should have had the first time. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. All right. Took that tungsten bead. Got a little bruise on his nose. Here you go, buddy. There we go. And that's how you do that. I'm gonna run a couple more casts. I think I saw two fish in here, not just the one. But then uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time because I'm gonna move on to more productive water here.
different little guy. Hey, I was going to show you guys, um, the guys over at Firebox, you've seen that Firebox little camp stove, they're making this wallet, it's the coolest wallet, you can see the Firebox logo on there, but um, it's just, it kind of forces me to clean house a little bit in the wallet department, but uh, just little credit cards, you know, your cash, whatever, but uh, you know, it just flips down, just a nice baseball stitch on this thing, genuine leather and stuff. Um, just super nice. You can tell how thick that leather is. But uh, super nice wallet, and I've used it for about, oh, I don't know, probably three or four months now. And uh, best wallet I've ever had. So check them out. Again, there's the Firebox logo. Go to firebox.com and um, check out their accessories.